Hello, everyone, and welcome to Catholic Truth, Love, and Life, where we talk about dating, engagement, marriage, relationships, love, life, kids, and more. And we are happy that you've joined us today. And in our last episode, we talked about self-esteem, self-confidence, how oftentimes we focus on uh, ourselves too negatively, and it brings us down instead of focusing on the good within us that God has given each of us that we can use to change the world. And that leads us into today's episode. But before I tell you what that is, I want to welcome to the show, Julie Loin, who always joins us and we're always happy to have on. Hi, Julie. Hey, Brian. Good to be back. Thanks. And um, you're going to be giving us a lot more uh, videos in the future, right? She's going to be doing yes. some shows with us. So if you see videos just by Julie, she's now part of the team. So she'll be joining us and... Uh, and go in some videos as well, because she has a lot of good thoughts and good wisdom and good life experience. She's the mother of five and has a whole lot of wisdom to share. So, oh, thanks, um, Brian. yes, uh, my pleasure. So today we're going to be talking about a lot of people focus on Christmas. What can I get? You know, what am I? Did I get the gifts I wanted? Am I happy enough? You know, did I get enough? And we have a throwaway culture where we have a car for a year and we're still not happy. So we got to get a new car or we bought that big TV two years ago and it's so outdated. I could have a better one. You know, we keep buying all of these things, thinking it's going to fill the hole in our hearts, thinking it's going to make us happy. When in fact, oftentimes these things don't make us happy and we have everything and we still have nothing. And so the question I want to ask is, what value are we adding to other people's lives? Are we only focusing on ourselves, what we get? You know, uh, you know, are we focusing on our work, our hobbies, our everything? Or do we focus more on other people and think about them more than we think about ourselves? And I'll just give one example. I was reading a New Age book, and um, as I read lots of books from every side, and this author was saying that he couldn't find peace and he had the opportunity to meet mother Teresa and mother Teresa. He asked him, he's like, mother Teresa, I, I can't find peace. And I, I want to find this happiness in my soul. And please, you know, let me follow you. Let me study with you. And she turned, he said, and looked him right in the eyes and said, if you truly want to find peace, then go take all of the money that you were going to spend on this trip following me and go give it to the poor and the, for the, those who are truly in need. And then you will find peace in your soul. And he did. <laughs> um, wow. Yeah. Isn't that crazy? Did he say what happened after that? Yeah. He said it was an amazing life transforming experience for him. I mean, my jaws dropped. That is, I mean, a lot of people are told that, but how many people follow through with that? Yeah. Yeah, wow. a lot of people would be like, oh, that wouldn't work. But he actually, no, he actually did. He really wanted to find peace. And, you know, it's too many times we're too focused on ourselves and what we can get. And we don't focus on what we'd give to other people. So I want to challenge everybody. What value do you add to the people, you know, in the lives around you? And and I'm not talking just in your work. You know, some people are like, well, I'm a nurse. Okay, well, that's, <laughs> you know, your job. You know, that's what you do. And that's great. You are doing good. but. Outside of your job, do you also add value to people's lives? Do you mm. give what value do you do you do you give to the poor? Do you go serve at a soup kitchen? Do you go serve people in need in some way? Um, do you are you aware of the family members in your own family who are hurting, who are broken? And not just your your media family, your extended family. Do you know their lives? And are you in tune with them? Are you helping them? Are you giving to other people more than they give to you? And these are just some of the thoughts I have, you know, around Christmas time. That's what we're called to do as a Christian. Yeah. Oh, man. I have like a hundred thoughts that just went through my head. Um, I would say first and foremost, Brian, I think most of us, no, I do not think that we, oh, our society has programmed us for a quick fix, quick like you said, I, I have this car, but now I want the next car. I have this TV, but I now I want the next TV. I mean, that's such a good point. That's basically like our fast food diet of life. Um, we've been programmed to really want for ourselves the easiest way for comfort. We want comfort. We want because that's what we think will bring us joy. That's what will bring us peace. And I've I've struggled just a few days ago. I was sitting with my husband and I was like, you know, I I want that joy and I want that peace and I want I want to be able to just sit in my life 
as it is and just say, thank you, God, for all that I have. And, and it is almost like a retraining to be able to recognize those gifts, to recognize I am happy with my 1500 square foot house. I am happy with my five chaotic, awesome kids. I am happy with homeschooling. I am happy with our minivan that smells like crackers and, and probably some salami smashed together on the ground. I am happy because this is where God has placed me. And now I have found peace with myself now, like you said, Brian, now what am I going to do for other people? Because we're so focused on self and and self-indulging in this world that we want to find comfort in all things. And so now it's, okay, what am I offering? And sometimes it can just be a look at your family. A lot of times, especially early on in, in my uh, parenting, it was like, when was the next time I could sit down? <laughs> When's the next time I can have a cup of coffee and read a book or scroll through social media or watch a show? When's the next time I get to have something? When's the next time I get to be comfortable? And I think it's still there. There's 100% that, that in the back of my head at times, especially on a crazy day. But oftentimes I'm forced outside of myself to focus on my little ones. I have to get my daughter to her therapies. I have to get my kid to, to practice. I have to teach them. I have to get tea ready so we can have a cozy tea time and talk about the saints. There's so many things where I'm outside of myself. And then now it's bringing it to other people. Like you said, Brian, what, what can I offer to my family? And sometimes it is just being joyful to them and f- helping them to see the goodness around them. Because a lot of times our family members, especially around Christmas time, can get bogged down with so much stuff that it can be helpful to have someone around that that can be like, but what good came? You know, it, help them to see things from a different perspective. And maybe that's your gift. Maybe that's what you have to offer other people. Yeah. And not having meltdowns when you don't get what you want, like I do. Um, <laughs> I, <laughs> there has to be a story there, Brian. What story is this? Well, I just, I was just going to say, like, I struggled with it like you for a long time. Like you have this whole long day, you're completely exhausted. You're looking forward to time with your, you know, for yourself at the end of the day where you just can relax and recover and get ready for tomorrow. And then the kid wakes up or the kid melts down or the kid won't go to sleep. And it's just like, you just, just go to sleep. You just, this is my time and you're ruining it. And you just get so angry. Right. And I shouldn't say you, but you know, collectively, oh, you. Yes, me. Um, yes. But, you know, I used to get so angry and occasionally I still do, but generally I've given that up because it's not about me, you know, and I'm called to serve even if I have to die on the cross like Christ. And it is a cross when you want to take time for yourself and you just want to have a little downtime and whatever it is, and you can't. And they're pushing you to your limits and sometimes even beyond your limits, just like my soccer coach used to do. My baseball coach used to do, you know, they used to push us beyond what we were capable of. And we hated them at the time, but they made us better. And it's the same thing with God. He makes us better. Kids make us better, which is why when people reject kids, they reject heaven because they are the path to heaven. And and I'm talking about for married couples, you know, who choose not to like our worlds because they need four TVs and you know, maybe a dog instead of kids. <laughs> um, but in reality, you know, I've been trying to, um, and and my wife actually has been super busy the last week. So I had the kids a lot more than I usually do. And I uh, kept the house cleaned, immaculate. And I even when I didn't feel like it, I did everything I didn't want to do. I put away the dishes. I washed the dishes. Even when it was past time, when it was time for me, I made sure the house was clean first. I made sure everything was in order first. And I went outside of what I could have done. I tried to give more so that I wouldn't be so spoiled. And so I could extend myself so I can give more freely without counting the cost. And I'm adding value to other people's lives too, because my wife is probably happier when there's a cleaner house, when the dishes are washed, when the trash is taken out, she's happier. So I'm trying to add value to her life and I'm adding value to my kids' lives because I'm not freaking out on them and I'm not being, you know, like mm. angry with them. I'm I'm just trying to love them and accept them and be give them God's love even when I don't feel like it, even when, you know, I don't want to. And I do it anyways, because that's what we're called to do. So Outside of that, you know, I could probably reflect on ways that I need to add value into other people's lives, like even just simple phone calls, you know, to people mm-hmm. in need who are struggling that you see on Facebook and say, hey, how you doing? You know, or maybe it's a simple email or a simple text checking in on people. Maybe it's, you know, giving more money to the poor, going to a shelter. I mean, if you have a lot of money, then instead of, you know, considering what you can buy for yourself, consider what you can give to other people. 
you know what who needs it there are people in your life on facebook that are friends or family close to you who really need money and don't have any and you do you can help them you know there are people who are struggling with something and you have a talent that could help them you could give it to them make their life better you know so reflect on your gifts reflect on your talents reflect on how you can give more to the people around you and i think that'll bring more peace and joy and love to our own lives because it is in giving that we also receive right yes absolutely and and it calls to mind too um saint augustine that our hearts are restless until they rest rest with god our hearts are always going to be restless they're always going to be fighting with this want of peace and and just to be able to rest and just to be able to be but that's not necessarily our calling here on earth our hearts are going to be restless and so what can we do with that restlessness and and mike and i were reflecting on this that like you said brian going outside of ourselves and we find the most joy when we can give of ourselves and sometimes it's dying to ourselves and sometimes we do have to ask for that grace because at three in the morning when that baby wakes up again and you're like i have nothing left in me i am empty. I'm exhausted. I have a headache. I am blah, blah, blah. And so then you just call out, I need the grace, God, just give me the grace. And that is that literally pouring of self. Yes, literally. That's that pouring of self out for your child. And God will never deny you ever for those graces. And on those days when you're feeling like I can't give to this family member, or I can't, I can't possibly help this person. Ask God, reveal to me if you want something from me reveal show me what you'd like for me to do to this for this person and he will never deny you and sometimes he'll say no i want you to go home and be with your family this is time and i remember scott Hahn. i might have mentioned this on a podcast he he had a moment where he could have gone to adoration he was supposed to you know he was like i'm gonna go spend an hour in adoration and his wife was just i mean she had like a kid on her hip and a kid over here and someone's screaming and he has got to clean this thing and make dinner and do all these things and he looked around and and he just he all of a sudden heard god say this is your adoration this is where you're meant to be. And so it's opening ourselves up to see, God, where do you want me? Maybe you're adding value simply to your wife, to your husband, to your kids by being present. Maybe it's playing with them when you really don't want to, as Brian and I know. Maybe it's it's just instead of going off on your own, it's spending time with your spouse at night and talking instead of turning on the TV or you're adding value by showing that person, that child or that spouse that You mean so much to me. I want to hear about what you have going on. I want to take in who you are. And sometimes that can just uplift that person enough that it brings them that joy. And so I don't know. I don't think there's anything greater than giving than receiving. Amen. And today, uh, Sophia's make believe that she wanted to play. She was Jesus. So uh, Gabriella was baby Jesus. I was Joseph and uh, Kathy was Mary. So, you know, that was a cute one. That's amazing. But, um, But yeah, I just want to finish up by saying that Mother Teresa said, if you truly want to love God and you truly want to love and have peace, then go home and first love your family. Mm -hmm. So many people are great at doing extracurricular activities, serving at church, you know, helping the poor, and they're terrible to their spouse. They're terrible to their kids. They're angry. They're grumpy. They're impatient. You know, they just have other things to do there they have no they have time for everybody else but not for the family so mother Teresa says go home and love your family that's your first vocation love them first love them best if you can't do that figure it out start over get some books watch some youtube videos you know and and that goes for me too you know i'm not perfect i'm a work in progress i need to work on these things too um but That is the recipe. You want to add value to people's lives? Start with those closest to you. Bless their lives. Be a blessing for them in the way you speak to them, in the the, the way you serve them, the way you think about them, you know, that sort of thing. You know, anticipate their needs. What would they like? Like last, my wife's been working a lot lately. And, you know, I asked her last night, I was like, how can I love you, you know, in a way that's meaningful for you? to thank you for all the sacrifice you've been doing, you know, and of course you wanted a a big back massage, big back rub. And I was like, cool, but you know, I want to give to her in a way that's meaningful to her. And I want to help her to feel loved. So, you know, I'm not perfect by any means, but that's why we're here discussing our perfect, uh, our, our good and our bad. So that would be my thought. Yeah. And, and just to add to that too, it starts with spouse, just like you're doing with Kathy asking her, how can I love you? And I, I think a lot of people jump to kids that, 
loving your family means loving your children. And and yes, 100%. But it starts with the spouse. You and your spouse need to focus on each other. And immediately it will trickle down to the kids. If the parents are solid, and if the parents are loving towards each other and the parents are doing all that they can, the children will see that. And it's really cool because when my husband comes home from work, the first person he comes to see and gives a kiss to is me. He says hi to the kids, but he comes straight to me. And it shows the kids because now my daughter sees that's how a man should treat a woman. That shows my my sons. That's how I should treat my spouse. I should treat my spouse as the most important. And the kids follow shortly after, I promise. But it has to be with the spouses first. And so how can I add value? Love your wife. Love your husband. And if you're not married, love your family. <laughs> love your right. parents. Lo <clears throat> love your siblings. Um, you know, forgive those in your life and give to those around you. You know, if you don't have any family, I mean, just use your imagination. Who are those closest to you? How are you loving them? You know, how are you giving to them? And how are you giving to people who are not them as well? What value are you adding to people's lives around you? Thank you for joining us today on Catholic Truth, Love, and Life. I hope you found these short little videos inspirational. And if you do, then please subscribe to our channel because we're going to be making many more. And please like this video. And if you ever have any comments, topics, suggestions, things you want to hear about, talk about, you have questions about, leave them in the comments section below. Or we have a, uh, a link in our description section below where you can ask questions that go right to our email. So you can make suggestions or ask questions or whatnot. But anyways, thanks for watching. And Julie, thanks for joining us today. Thanks, Brian. God bless you all. Pray for us as we're always praying for you. Hi, everyone. My name is Kate. I'm the video editor here at Catholic Truth. And I just wanted to say on behalf of all of us, thank you so much for taking some time to watch our videos and learn more about your faith. You guys really make this channel possible and we truly appreciate you being here. So thanks again and God bless.